Hi everyone, the use of the Oxford comma or the non-use is one of the most disagreed upon areas of the English language, right after the disagreement on whether your mom is fat or morbidly obese. As its name implies, the Oxford comma was invented at Oxford University. The Oxford comma was invented by the Rapscallion Horace Hart in 1893 while he worked for the Oxford University Press. Because it was invented in England, most Americans used the comma, while the English advised against it. Didn't expect that, did you? Basically, the Oxford comma is a comma that goes after the second to last item in a list. One example is, I like my dogs, carrots, and eating cereal with water. The Oxford comma is used to reduce ambiguity. If we took the Oxford comma away from that last sentence, we get, I like my dogs, carrots, and eating cereal with water. This changes the whole meaning of the sentence. Now, instead of liking three separate things, I now like my dogs named carrots and eating cereal with water. I've been raised learning that the Oxford comma is the correct way to write lists, and obviously because that's what I learned, it must be right. Other than just reducing ambiguity, the Oxford comma also keeps the rule that you put commas after each item in a list. Now, the people that disagree with the use of the Oxford comma argue that the Oxford comma adds too much space to the text. I'm not even kidding, the comma is probably one of the smallest things you can type out and they're complaining that it takes too much space. Maybe in like 1917 when Lenin was writing his April thesis, commas used too much space. But now that we have unlimited space in Google Docs, everyone should just use the Oxford comma. The use of the Oxford comma reigns supreme to the absence of it. The Oxford comma is cool, compact, and delightful. Basically what I'm trying to say is that if you don't use the Oxford comma, you're a small-minded grammarian. <laughs>